All right. Okay, this is where Duke hangs out to watch me put together the electric standing desk. Right there. Let's unbox this thing. Boy, this stuff is heavy. Let's go get the bathroom scale and see how much that weighs. I think we can just weigh the bracket. How much does a bracket weigh? 12 pounds. Wow, this weighs 12 pounds, just this. So there's what comes in the box. These are the feet. These are the brackets that go underneath the countertop. Here is the connecting piece that goes between the two legs. The logic, uh, electric cord, the push button deal, and uh, the screws. So I'm gonna take these two parts here for underneath the desktop and then the bracket that connects the feet, but I'm not gonna connect the feet and the rest of the stuff yet because I'm crafting a desktop from scratch. Let's go show you what I'm doing. So this is the top I made. This is simply out of oak plywood, three quarter inch plywood. And then there's a one by three on the side to uh, support it. So it's a simple top, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it over here. So you remember this 16 pound bracket. Oh, we're gonna put this in the middle like that. And then these uh, supports will go like this and like this. So I've got these spacers here and then down here, I put a spacer and then on the other side, I'm gonna do the same thing. Just I want the brackets to be evenly placed and that's how far out they're going to go on the tabletop. Now this middle part expands like this. Okay, and there's a, uh, you kind of center it up and then you tighten these down with the wrench and that's how that goes on to the bottom of the desk. Now, this is the front of the desk, and this will be the back of the desk. And what I want to do is create an area to store all the cables and the wires and stuff. So I'm going to make a box back here, and I'll show you how I do that next. to do a bunch of these pocket screws. So we've got this made. This will go like so. And then the top will go on. Like so. And this will be under the desk where all the cords will go. So if you noticed, I've edge banded a lot of this plywood so it makes it look like it's one solid piece of wood. Um, check out the other video I just made on how to do this kind of edge banding. It's pretty simple. You only need a couple of tools, an iron, pieces of sandpaper, and a little cutter for the edge banding. Um, it doesn't take a whole lot of tools and it makes a board look great. It looks like a solid board. So let's take off this bracket, flip it over and stick it on a couple of buckets. So here's our demonstration lamp. Not bad, okay. This is where the wires are gonna tuck in. Underneath here, back here. And we'll put a power strip and such back there. But see what's happening is all this stuff, you know, it's eventually just gonna fall out of the hole. So what I have to do, here we'll shove these back in here, is I'm gonna put a board right here like this, and then we'll hinge it so it will prevent you know, the cords from coming out at least you know, a little bit, and it'll still give it room to breathe. If I put something back there, it's gonna be generating some heat. Pretty good idea, I'm full of them. I don't think we have enough screws in here. 
Let's add another 40,000 more screws. Let's just do that. Oh, goodness. A magnetic catch and a piano hinge. Pretty nice for an area that no one will hardly ever see. So let's put the lamp back up here. We're gonna shove the cords back underneath and then we'll... Huh? Let's flip it over and start working on the legs now. So I've got it flipped back over and we'll put the bracket on here just temporarily. Man, these things are heavy. Like this. And then the other one goes over here. Now we have these electric cords that will go into this control box. That's how it's supposed to be put on. But remember, I wanna hide all the wires. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna drill a couple of holes into the back of the box here and you know over here somewhere. And we're gonna put this control unit inside the box. All right, then on the bottom, I'm gonna drill a couple of holes for the power cord that will have to ultimately come out of this thing, right? And we'll put it on both ends so it can be ready for any scenario that I put it into. And then we'll put the control box inside and we'll mount it up there. So it's back in the office. We have it flipped upside down. Look at, I put magic sliders on here. So we can slide the desk around when it's on, the, on its flip side. So here we go. This is where the hole was drilled for this motor. Okay, so we've got the wires going into the box. And then on the other side, we have the wire going through a hole in the box here. That's the back of the desk, remember? And the only thing I had to really tie in is the controller. The thing that makes it go up and down. So let's flip this thing up. Okay, now set it like this. Okay, now we'll set it down. I'm telling you, this ain't light. So I've got everything tucked in there. There's all the wires inside that little cavity. And this is the only thing that's hanging down is the you know electric cord. All right, let's push the button here. See, now I have to decide what the perfect height is. Is it 35.4? or 36.3, or could it be 42.1? Oh boy, I'm gonna be messing with this all night. Look how high it goes. Look, you could go under here in case it's raining out. So hopefully you like this video and you got something out of it, learned some things, and you know, the creative juices started flowing. So um, there you go, that's why I'm doing this stuff, so we can share in the experience. And uh, thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.